Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Having lived in four countries, I understand the stress and the overwhelm that comes along with planning a move abroad. Today, I'll be sharing with you information on what to know before moving to the Netherlands. So you may have heard already, but there is a large housing shortage in the Netherlands. The reality of the fact is that it will be difficult to find housing. In fact, it might be the most challenging aspect of your move over, but it is possible so don't lose hope. Keep in mind that the housing shortage is not limited to the Randstad area with the bigger cities. It also includes smaller cities with lesser populations. My advice is to stay on top of the housing search. So that means getting in touch and working with a relocation agent that can book you viewings. This means signing up for websites and getting notifications from sites like Funda.nl, Commerce.net, and Parias. Another point is to post in Facebook groups and Facebook marketplaces. And I know some people not, might not agree because it's spammy, but this is actually how I ended up finding housing the quickest way possible. There are many Facebook groups dedicated towards expats, internationals, and especially for the dedicated city that you're interested in. So housing in Leiden, housing in Rotterdam, housing at Gouda, and you also have the local groups that you can post, uh, post in Dutch as well, and say that you're looking for something. You really have to use all resources available. Inquiring about housing on these Facebook groups allowed me to get four to five viewings a day. So while it was really intense, only because I needed to find housing within a two week period, it I found this personally to be much faster. Another point that I think some people don't tend to think of right away is actually tapping into your alumni network and I think this is so great because my alma mater was something I thought about at the last moment when I was moving to Paris and I was erratically looking for something um, I actually found out that my alma mater had an alumni group there and I remember asking if there is any housing available or if anyone had any leads. You need to register your residence with the municipal government or the gemeente. When you register with the gemeente, you get your BSN. This is equivalent to your social security number in the US. And with your BSN, you can do official things like apply for a bank account or even go to the doctor or the dentist. Let's keep this one short and sweet. The emergency line for the Netherlands is 112. Not 911, not 999, but 112. Buy a secondhand bike. Bikes get stolen here a lot in the Netherlands. And having a nice new shiny one that you leave outside by the store or your house is more of a target than a raggedy old rickety one. So I've been told that the older the better. Maybe not necessarily all the time, but another great thing about a secondhand bike is that it's cheaper than buying an expensive new bike. If you don't want to purchase your own bike or you'll be staying for a shorter amount of time in the Netherlands, you can rent a Swap Feeds. A Swap Feeds is a bike membership subscription and each month you pay for a bike that you'll be renting out. So the cool thing about this is that you're not really bound to a serious contract um, or if you get a flat tire for instance you can take your bike bring it into the location nearest you and swap it for another one when i was living in amsterdam for the first time i was only there for about five to six months for an internship and it just was too much of a hassle to end up buying my own bike so i ended up getting a swap feeds at that time they had a student discount i'm not sure if that applies now so i was renting a bike for it was about 10 euro 9 to 10 euros per month so when i added that up compared to some of the secondhand bikes i was shopping around for which were like about 200 euros it ended up being much cheaper for me to rent out a swap feeds so that might be a nice option for you if you will be taking public transport in the Netherlands, you will need an OV chip card. This paperless ticket system replaces the paper system that was used years beforehand. To get a OV chip card, you can sign up online, they'll ask for your name, your contact details, and you also have to include a photo as well. Alternatively, you could get an anonymous OV chip card and it's exactly what it sounds like. 
you don't have to share any personal details so you don't need to use a photo just like with a personal ov chip card and the great thing about having an anonymous card is that you can let your friends or your family who come to visit use it downloading the following apps can be extremely helpful or even required for your move here Day or digital identification is like an online security code or digital passport which enables you to do administrative things like taxes, health insurance, and more. You'll definitely be needing the app Tiki. Tiki is like the equivalent of Venmo where you can make payment requests. So next time you're having drinks with friends and you're unsure how to split the bill, just send someone a Tiki. It's quite common to commute to work in the Netherlands, whether that be through biking, public transportation, or even driving. But did you know that some companies offer public transportation reimbursement that covers this cost either partly or fully? Next time you're on an interview, don't forget to ask about this. Prior to moving to the Netherlands, you may be unaware that you potentially may have to take the Inburgerging or the integration exam. This exam is comprised of different requirements, um, learning Dutch at a certain level, uh, speaking, writing, uh, listening. There's different components to it. And if you'd like to see a video on this, I'd be happy to share. Whether you're in the process of moving here or have just arrived to the Netherlands, I really hope this list was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!